Hey everyone, how's it going? Hans Schaff here, Go Tiny Be Free. And today I'm here in my Sprocket Tiny House, which is an Incredibox Tiny Home. And uh, the reason I'm here in this tiny house today is to talk with you about the new special that you may already have heard about from Incredible Tiny Homes, where they're offering a 16 foot and a 20 foot version of the Incredibox 2.0 for $19,900 and 24,900. So just under 25,000 for the 20 footer and just under $20,000 for the, the uh, 16 footer. And it's gonna look like this as far as the structure of the home and all. This is an Incredibox tiny home, but the new ones that they have for sale are the Incredibox 2, which do not have these fasteners showing or these kind of panels like this. They have just the panels that are, you know, just lines essentially every two or three feet or whatever, no fasteners showing whatsoever. So it's the flat, you don't really have to paint it. I mean, they're real nice. And they're a lot thicker as well. They're about three inches thick or so. So it's gonna be a very well insulated home. Uh, even more than this one, which already is pretty good insulation. So anyway, just want to make sure you heard about that special. Um, I'll do a quick, quick little tour here if you're not familiar with the Incredibox, kind of see what you get. So uh, this was an off-grid version, so it has a, a few different features and functions on here. And uh, I added that mini split up there as well. Um, but uh, of course, you got your, kind of your living room. This is the 16-foot model, so kind of the, uh, the last eight feet or so would be kind of the living space. Kind of give you an idea there. And uh, so you got your kitchen right here. Got the butcher block cabinets and that one folds down right there and i kind of lowered it down as well to kind of give it like a little office uh type sitting let me see okay i'll give you a, all right i'm gonna give you a different little angle here so you can kind of see so this is this actual whole thing kind of folds down folds up so i just put a little, a little computer on here because it's a nice little workspace right here you can use it for you know cutting vegetables or whatever i got a little stool that folds that slides right underneath it as well so it makes it real nice kind of out of the way I built this little lamp feature and all, but uh, you got your windows, you know, a great little spot for a couch and or a sofa bed. This is a futon. It kind of folds into a full size bed. And then, uh, of course, if you want like a coffee table or something like that. This is a real neat one right here. I don't know if you can see this in the image here. All right. I've shifted angles one more time. This is the living room section. So you can kind of get a little better feel for it. I got this little coffee table thing off Amazon. It's like a hundred bucks, something like that. What's really neat about it is the whole thing folds up like this. So you got storage in there for your bedding and for your linens or whatever. And you can have your little computer right here set up while you're watching TV or cooking dinner or whatever. It's perfect. Or you can even eat dinner right on here while you're watching TV. So you don't even need to use that or any other table. This thing kind of works as everything. A little coffee table all in one. So it's a real neat little little piece of furniture there. Uh, of course, you got the TV. It's on, a, it's on a swing tilt. So you can kind of tilt at whatever angle that you want. I think it's a 32 inch TV that I put right there. Fits kind of between the uh, the post right there and the, and the start of the window. Um, little coat rack I just kind of put in. You go with that steampunk steel panel theme. Put another light in there, which is controlled by that light switch. Automatically, they have it wired up that way. And you got some light switches and some plugs down here as well. And then I put in these curtain rods uh, with just metal pipe, as well as the mini split and things like that. Window dressing. Change the angle here. All right, so then you got your kitchen. It's got some magnetic knives right there, a little clock. Um, change out the light fixture and put in some shades right there for the uh, over the kitchen sink. Put in some shelves. And I just put on a, I forget, a teak oil or something like that on this to kind of finish it off. Just a food grade uh, uh, finish, basically. I sanded it down and did about uh, three coats on there. So it should be pretty much waterproof or so. You got the kitchen cabinets, of course, come with it, obviously. And uh, then you got your bathroom. Kind of, so there's the front door as you enter, and then this little, there's the kind of the loft space up there above the bathroom. And then I've got a little dehumidifier put in there. There's your electrical panel right there. And I have kind of mini split controls, and then I have just some gauges I put in. They're actually functional. Uh, it's your water heater pressure, uh, temperature, and uh, your, uh, your other cold water temperature as well. And I put in an air conditioner. I put in a... Uh, air conditioning unit so it actually conditions the air that comes in and comes out so you get always get fresh air and of course incredible tiny homes does sell the ceramic wall heater as well it's like uh, 250 watts or 400 watts a couple different versions of it so you always kind of have some nice radiant heat going on i just put in this real small little um, uh, fridge right here and uh, works great you got a freezer and a fridge just you know this is an airbnb so it's really all that you need you got your towels on here your coat racks you got to put a microwave on there with another shelf on top and some additional things. This particular unit has got uh, Starlink, so you can see it's got the internet the router right there and uh, some different hubs. And of course, there's your uh, 10 kilowatt hours worth of lithium batteries 
in the back as well, and all the other electronic smart home devices and things as well. And of course, you've got your inverter charger and all your solar controls, and I got some cleaning materials up in there as well. I changed out and put in this uh, separate toilet, which is the uh, the one that I recommend, the waterless toilet I recommend, since this is an off-grid version. You see it's got the uh, the water pump and filters and all that kind of stuff as well that connects to the 100-gallon water tank out front and um, we have a filter down there. But anyway, so we, I put in that as well. It's got the fan that's built into it, runs 24-7, and then built this little kind of cabinet over the top of it just to kind of hide the vent that goes out the side there. And um, painted the cabinets gray, of course. Got a little mirror right here. Hello. Some knobs. These are not actually functional. They're just, you know, little towel hooks, essentially. And then you got your 36-inch shower. So that's the Incredibox for you. Again, there's your loft space up there. A little robot light that I built. And some just some different decorations and things. But you can basically decorate however you want. This small little space doesn't take a whole lot to decorate, which is nice. Keeps the budget down. Built another little light right there. I'm real proud of this thing. It's kind of cool. You turn it on, and the actual gauge actually goes with the voltage. So as you turn it down, the voltage goes down. That's pretty neat. Um, and of course, I got the sprocket light up there. But uh, anyway, so this is the uh, Incredibox. This is the 1.0 version with the, the fasteners exposed. Again, I'll close, do a little close up here so you can kind of see. But you see all the screw heads and all? You won't see that with the sale that Randy's got going on. If you want an extra four feet going that way, which I'd recommend it. It does make an, a, a huge difference, obviously, having that extra um, four feet of space. If you can actually put in a full queen size bed right here, make it real easy, and just have you know an extra four feet of space to put another piece of furniture in or whatever. So that's a real good size. So there's a quick little tour of the Incredibox. If you kind of forgot, you know, you had the RGO, the Incredit Cottage, all these different homes. This is the Incredibox again, and it's on sale right now. Incredibox 2.0, 19,900 for the 8x16, which is the same size this home is. And if you want an extra four feet to kind of give you a little more space for some furniture or a bigger bed or what have you, um, you know, bigger TV, whatever, then uh, that'll be 24,900. So 19,9, 24,9 for 8x16 or 8x20 box 2.0. On sale now, I think he's got, he's going to sell for the next 100 or so. And if he can get the materials in order to continue to offer this price, he will. But right now it's kind of a trial run. They may not be able to get this, uh, the price for these, uh, these nice panels. Normally it's a $7,000 upgrade in order to get the nice panels like this. So the fact that you're able to find a new supplier to be able to drop the price down creates this opportunity for a new sale. So if you haven't got your tiny house yet, be sure to do that. And of course, once you get your Incredibox, we still have phase two lots available on the lake, $15,000 key money for a lot on phase two. We've got a few on the south side where the Airbnbs are gonna be. We've got a few on the east side and a few on the north side still left. So if you are still looking for a place to put your tiny home, we do have a few lots still available in phase two, which is currently under construction. And you can also just email me support at gotinybefree.com. That's support at gotinybefree.com. All right. Well, that's all for me here today. Hans Schaff, Go Tiny Be Free. And be sure to like this video and subscribe if you haven't to this channel to make sure that you don't miss out on future updates because we got a lot of footage still to come from the property, the cottages at Pine Lake, but you're going to get more information about that if you go to gotinycottages.com gotinycottages.com. A lot of people will email me questions or message me questions. A lot of your questions can be answered right there on the website. We've laid it all out so you can kind of see exactly what's going on. There's some videos on there as well. Um, but if you have other questions that aren't answered, be sure to ask them, ask them to me, and I'll be happy to update the Frequently Asked Questions page on the website and also, of course, get your, answer, uh, get your question answered as quickly as possible as well. So anyway, Hans Schaff, go tiny, be free. We'll see you in the next message. Take care.